I really want to be the champion of British Scratch Run, but there are so many people out there that just genuinely don't believe that we can even like compete at half the level of what the rums are in the Caribbean. They're just there's such a, a negative vibe about British Scratch Rum. Can this be the rum that changes their minds? Let's find out. Now, if my admin is correct, this video will drop the day after a live stream where my community, my members, have got to do a taste along, a secret taste along with white rums. And this will be, uh, well, sorry, British rums, I should say. This will be one of the rums that's in there. I've got no idea. I'm filming this before the tasting. I've got no idea how that's going to come out. But that will be super interesting. So if you haven't watched uh, the live stream on the other channel, uh, go and do that. That's from last night. I'll be open and honest. This is one of my favourite white unaged rums currently in the British Isles. From the very first sip of this, I was wowed. Um, I'll talk you through it in a second, but I've got a lot of time for this. Um, Retribution is a, a is a distillery owned by a guy called Richard. Lovely Richard. We've we've met at uh, through rum, one of the rum fests, um, and he was talking to me. And this all this knowledge is coming from uh, what he told me. Some of it sunk in, some of it complete went completely over my head. So there's a lot, of, and I'm talking like six or eight months ago now for this conversation. Um, and I'd already had this rum pre that I, I i absolutely adore this uh, rum as an example of what we can do in the uk so retribution from my knowledge started 2019 uh, to lay the foundations but actually got going literally a handful of weeks before the whole country the whole world went into lockdown in covid um, but as he's kind of like a, essentially i don't know what he is now but essentially a one-man band you know it's kind of the overheads of a business were low, et cetera, et cetera. So it didn't really come off that bad during COVID. It was just he didn't get the start he wanted to. Um, now, this rum, uh, it is a pot still rum, as quite a lot of UK rums are. But the big difference with this, with some pot stills that I've seen about in the UK, this is proper copper. And when you speak to distillers that have got copper, they're very, very passionate about their copper pot stills. And let's be honest, there's a flipping reason why most of the Caribbean use copper as well, except for like Guyana, which use wood in, in a couple of them. But you know, when we think pot still, we automatically do think copper. But there is this whole stainless steel vibe coming on now. So who are Retribution? Who is well, who is Retribution? It's Guy called Richard. Lovely, lovely Richard. His background from what he told me was beer he was a home brewer and had big ideas of setting up a brewery uh, for some unknown reason i don't know the ins and outs of that that didn't come to fruition uh, i think there's something in me what are you for telling me there's something reminded me that you can't distill and brew beer in the same premises i don't know if that's a thing i, I generally don't know that's what's stuck in my head as i say i might have got the knowledge and interpreted that something different but that's why that's why he went down this route, because it was a lot easier to go down the distilling route than it was the, the beer route, or for some reason. Anyway, um, as I say, it's pre-COVID, just uh, lockdown happened, the, the, you know, the, the, the great change happened, if you like. Um, so it was kind of put on hold for a couple of years. But Richard is, from what I gather, very, and I've seen the, the, the pictures of the stills, quite interestingly though, he's just literally, at the time of filming, He's literally just putting in an 1800 litre still, working capacity of about 1500. So he's up in his capacity by a lot. Uh, but if you see photos, go into his Instagram and all that. Um, if you see photos of the still at the moment, it's proper wood fired as well. You know, it's like, or not wood fired, uh, gas fired, but it's proper flame. That's the word I'm looking for. Flame lit pot still underneath. You know, that proper. that's proper in my eyes as well. I like that. But what he's doing, uh, the stuff that he's making, his primary emphasis primary emphasis sorry uh yes he's doing his spiced rum as well he's doing a gin we've got a gin we're not going to talk about that he's got this but his primary emphasis is whatever he doesn't need to sell he's casking up and aging and the two-year birthday and i've tasted the 12 well we 14 month version of this um it's the two-year birthday. I can't wait till August 2023 because that's when cask number one comes out. The age stuff he brought to... What the hell was it? It wasn't Rumfest. It was the other one. It was the Whiskey Exchange. Rum Show. There we go. And The stuff he had under the counter where it had been aged, he had two different barrels. The one that sticks into made was Jim Beam uh, and he had another bourbon barrel um, going on. Another big brand and I can't think what, what that was. Um, but the Jim Beam one sticks in my head. Absolutely Delicious. Even at 13, 14 months old, what it was. 
absolutely delicious. So, um, come August 2023, when it's two years old and it finally gets released, I cannot wait to get my hands on this because the base rum is flipping gorgeous. So the only other fact bombs I could give you that, sorry, but because this is it's a weird label, I haven't, I'm not sure if that was uh, straight on OCD. I'll be, I'll be mad as anything in the editing. I'll be like, that's not straight onto the camera. Uh, hopefully that's straight on now. But the only other fact bombs I can give you, it's 40. This is batch two that I've got here. 44% ABV, so it's already a little bit stronger. I think roughly it's 36 pounds direct off his website, which as we talk about, yes, you know, I've just done a recent video about Duppy share, you know, at 20 quid. Look, UK, British, 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 British scratch rum distilleries are never gonna compete at the 20 pound mark. It just ain't gonna happen. Uh, and you're deluded if you think you are, if, if they think they are. It's just made from scratch with raw materials that we have to import. Um, you know, it's just more expensive. I want to support them, you know, because until they get the volumes up there, that's when the prices can come down. But let's be honest here. I still think, tasting this, I still think this is a, a very good quality, even premium quality £30 white rum in the grand scheme of things. You know, I think it is leaps and bounds above 20, 25 pound rums that I've tasted, even from the Caribbean. And yes, I might be a little bit patriotic in that. Who knows? Who knows what the gang would have thought of this the day before on the on the live show? But if you want a pot still, funky, without ethanol vibes, without, you know, proper, it's just proper out there, pot still, white rum of 44%. This is banging. This is absolutely banging. Now, is this a daiquiri run for me? No. Uh, so if that's your use case scenario, I'll, I'll explain. If that's your use case scenario, then perhaps this is not the run for you. My explanation of that, as I keep saying time and time again, long-term viewers will know, I love my lighter column still rums in daiquiris. I love light daiquiris, light crisp daiquiris. That's what I'm all about. Pot still rums are anything but light. You know, they are rich, they are robust, they are funky, they are, they've got this vibe unto themselves. You know, this is a delicious, um, I, sip, I, I sip this neat, I'll be honest, I sip this neat. Um, a cocktail rum, uh, a mix, I don't think I've ever tried this as a rum and coke, to be fair, but a, a mix of rum, probably a ginger ale. It's got the, it's got the feistiness to handle ginger ale. I don't really put ginger beer with white rum. So aromas, what, what do we get on the aroma? So first off, you smell it, you know it's pot still. 100%, I, those that know will know. I can't describe it any better than that. It is pot still. You know it's molasses. Um, you kind of get this butterscotch toffee vibe going on. I don't really get the sort of the tropical fruit vibe that I would get off Jamaican pot still rum, like a banana, like a pineapple, like a coconut or anything like that. In fact, I don't really get too much um, fruit coming off it at all. But it's just the taste that I just absolutely love. It's this, how can I describe it? It's like a malted biscuit. I really, really love. Do you know those milk biscuits or malted milks or whatever they're called? That's what it reminds me of. And that ain't going to be up everyone's street. Don't get me wrong. You know, this is me blowing, blowing smoke up the backside here. Um, this isn't going to be up everyone's street. I, I do kind of like tropical fruit coming off rums as well. I really love that. But if I close my eyes and just sip this, I, I would definitely say it's a young rum. Um, I, I definitely say there's no aging to it. I wouldn't be fooled into thinking this is like a three, four, five-year-old rum or anything like that. But the thing that would fool me, oh, now that's a thinker. Because the next, the follow-up bit I was going to say to that, the thing that would fool me, this, I'm quite happily sipping this rum. I'm really happy sipping this. You pour me a glass of that, even maybe with an ice cube, you pour me a glass of that, I am happily sipping that. And you know the thing as well, I'm happily coming back to it again. I'm not just having one. This is a session rum. This is this is the sheer definition for me for a session rum. And I know a lot of people class session rums as like in old fashioned or rum fashion, sorry. Rum and Cokes and that. I when I talk about session rums, I talk about can I drink rum just poured out of a bottle into a glass as is. 
that is that for me the 44 percent you can tell it's a little bit stronger than 40 percent it's got a little bit of alcohol burn to it but it's lovely i genuinely think absolutely genuinely think hand on heart no affiliation to richard at all i've met him once we've dm'd a couple of times on instagram there is you know he's not my best mate or anything like that he's a genuinely lovely guy that i've met in person once i genuinely think this is one of the best white unaged rums i've tasted coming out of the british isles i think it's that good 